For more than a decade, the Glasgow Art Fair has been gathering galleries under one canvas roof. The point to prove to the public that art, in all its forms, is something for everyone. We're here in George Square. Everybody goes past on the way to the train and when they're shopping in the city centre. And everybody's welcome. And it's a very sort of forgiving and non-forbidding place. It's not like a gallery. A lot of people probably don't go into galleries because they're perhaps intimidated. Here it's all, all things to everybody. 47 galleries are taking part this year with work ranging in price from £100 to £135,000. And with interest in the Glasgow Boys at its height ahead of a major exhibition, this gallery is confident of making a sale. Every year we've sold um, either a Hornell or, um, or something of consequence. Uh, so there are people here that are looking seriously for very you know, serious pictures as well as the contemporary um, cheaper side of the business. At the other end of the scale, another cultural icon, which apparently is selling like hotcakes. Phenomenally popular. <laughs> I literally can't put them fast enough. So it, it obviously means a lot to a lot of people. So I mean, it's colourful as well, and it maybe looks quite nice in people's homes. It's a similar story for Scots artist Frank Toll, who's sold all but one of his paintings before the event has even opened. But he says it's still worth being here. Selling is definitely one of them, but B, it's also promoting Scottish art as well. I think it's important for any artist who's in the Glasgow Art Fair to, pr to promote Scottish art, it's got this, the Scottish art scene in a much more international and all, as well as a national arena. And for everyone else, the wraps are off, the race is on, as the country's biggest art fair opens for business tomorrow. Pauline McLean, Reporting Scotland, Glasgow.